Good evening and welcome to Bedtime at St Paul's. Um, and it is Sunday evening. And I hope you've had a restful day today. And I hope it's gone well and that you're healthy. But maybe you're not feeling so great today. Maybe there's some, been things that have been worrying you. Maybe you're feeling a little scared. But now is the opportunity to share that with God so that he can take those fears away from you because he wants you to have a peaceful sleep so that you can wake up refreshed in the morning. So put all those negative feelings in your hands nice and tight. And then during this prayer, we're going to release them and hand them over to God. Lord God, you are always with me. You are with me in the day and in the night. You are with me when I am happy and when I am sad. You are with me when I am healthy and when I am ill. You are with me when I am peaceful and when I am worried. Today I am feeling because help me to remember that you love me and are with me in everything today. Amen. Lord, keep us safe this night, secure from all our fears. May angels guard us while we sleep, till morning light appears. And now we have our weekly prayer. Risen Christ, your wounds declare your love for the world and the wonder of your risen life. Give us compassion and courage to risk ourselves for those we serve, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Day is done, gone the sun, from the sea, from the hills, from the sky. All is well, safely rest, God is nigh. And now we have our Bible story. And tonight's story is called Filled Full. There were once 5,000 tired and hungry and probably very grumpy people sitting on a hillside wanting their dinner. They'd come to hear Jesus that day. They came before breakfast stayed all morning, all afternoon, and way past dinner. No one had meant to be out that long, but that's how it was, listening to Jesus as if time didn't exist. People could listen to Jesus for hours, and on this particular day, that's just what they did. But they hadn't brought enough food, and they couldn't just go and buy themselves a burger and fries to go, because of course they were in the middle of nowhere, with no shops or restaurants. Besides, that kind of food hadn't been invented yet. What would they do? Jesus' friends had an idea. Let's send everyone home for dinner. They don't need to go, Jesus said. You can give them something to eat. Did Jesus want them to travel all the way to town and buy food for everyone? Jesus' friends panicked, but we don't have enough money. What food do you have? Jesus asked. Go and see. Now, there was a little boy in the crowd. He had brought a lunch that his mother had made him that morning. He looked at his five loaves and two fish. It wasn't much, not nearly enough for 5,000, but it was all he had. I have some, he said. Jesus' friends laughed when they saw his nickel lunch. That's not nearly enough, they said. But they were wrong. Jesus knew it didn't matter how much the little boy had. God would make it enough, more than enough. Jesus said, bring me what you have. 
And so the little boy gave Jesus his lunch. Jesus winked at the boy and whispered in his ear, Watch! How in the world will Jesus feed everyone with just that? Jesus' friends said, because they thought it was impossible. But Jesus knew the one who made all the fish in the oceans. And Jesus knew the one who in the very beginning had made everything out of nothing at all. How hard would something like this be for someone like that? There's loaves and fishes. Jesus took the little boy's lunch, looked up to heaven and thanked his father. Then Jesus gave the little lunch back to his friends. As Jesus' friends started to hand out the food, do you know what? It was the strangest thing. No matter how much they broke off, there was always more. And more. And more. Enough for 5,000. Everyone ate as much as they wanted. Second helpings, third helpings, fourth helpings. Until they were full. And still there were leftovers. Well, Jesus did many miracles like this. Things people thought couldn't happen, that weren't natural. But it was the most natural thing in all the world. It's what God had been doing from the beginning, of course. Taking the nothing and making it everything. Taking the emptiness and filling it up. Taking the darkness and making it light. And that ends our story for tonight. Day is done, gone the sun, from the sea, from the hills, from the sky. All is well, safely rest, God is nigh. As I lie down, I go to sleep in peace. You alone, O oh Lord, keep me perfectly safe. May the grace of the Lord Jesus be with everyone tonight. Amen. Sleep well and have a good day tomorrow. <laughs>